Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Dell Inspiron 668 desktop system. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your hard drive or your storage. So first thing, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your power cord. So we're going to flip our computer over to access our back. We're going to take off this screw and this screw to remove this panel. After those screws are gone, we'll grab this handle here, pull directly back, and that panel comes off. Now we'll spin the computer around to access the front. Here you see three clips. So we're gonna raise the computer up just a little bit. We're gonna undo these three clips. And that comes right off. To open this up more so we can access the inside of the computer, you'll see this blue tab here that says pull. So you don't have to unscrew anything. There's no levers or switches. You just grab it and pull it open. As a general computer repair side note, guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your project, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model computer, there will be a link above, also below in the description, and it will be a list of all those tools and supplies and replacement parts for this computer. For most of you, this will be your only storage device in the computer. It is a 3.5 inch, one terabyte SATA hard drive. This can be upgraded to a two terabyte hard drive. Um, and of course, if you have a smaller one, if you have, let's say a 500 gigabyte, then you can upgrade it to either a one terabyte or a two terabyte. The way to access this is we're gonna close this up right here and we're gonna take out that screw right there. I'm then gonna go ahead and unplug it. That blue cable and this one right there. And once it's unplugged, you're gonna pull on these two tabs and it comes out. Now again, this is a one terabyte solid state drive, 3.5 inch. It's inside this caddy. So if you are looking to replace your drive, you would take out these two screws on that side, these two screws on that side. The hard drive would then slide out of this metal caddy and you can put your other one inside. I will have uh, three different sizes below in the description in that link I told you about with all the replacement and upgrade parts for this model computer. I will have a 500 gigabyte hard drive in this size and I will have a one terabyte and a two terabyte if you're looking to upgrade. In addition to that 3.5 inch drive right here, you do have these two SATA 2 and SATA 3 ports right there. So with the right cables, you can use those two ports and you can run them down here into this area and you can have additional hard drives and solid state drives here. So if you want to, you can put another one terabyte hard drive in here using one of these SATA cables uh, or you can take a 256, I think that's what this computer maxes out at, a 256 gigabyte solid state drive and you can put it here. Uh, a lot of people like doing that, putting a smaller solid state drive with the operating system so that it runs very quickly and they'll use the larger uh, one terabyte hard drive for just storage. Now when I did that in this computer, I had a hard time getting the cable into this one um, just because there wasn't a whole lot of room. I had to run it on the SATA 3 just if you're going to do that, be aware. Uh, so I will also have below in the description, I will have the cables you need for here and I will also have some options for down here for the uh, 2.5 inch hard drives and the 2.5 inch solid state drives. I'll have some different size options for that as well. I guess the last thing to mention about this kind of an operation, if you do install a new drive to your computer, you most likely will need to install an operating system onto it for your computer to function. If you would like help with that, I will have two video links below in the description. One will show you how to install Windows 10, the other will show you how to install Windows 11. Also keep in mind, if you have data on your old drive that may be bad or unusable, there's still a good chance you can recover data from bad drives. I will have more information about that below in the description as well. But that's the end of this instructional video. I hope it was helpful. Please like and share if it was, if you think it can help someone else. 
Feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content, or if you want to keep me on hand to answer any future questions, I do answer all questions at least a couple times a day. Remember though, if you do have a question, check out the FAQs in the description first. It could save you some time waiting for an answer. Thank you so much everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.